never made it to no playoffs, no championships. They ain't never did nothing. Nobody was even scared of them. There wasn't a threat. They were nobody. It was just some, some young ladies playing basketball. And the coach took them to the NCAA championship. Not only, so what makes this so phenomenal is that they didn't just go to the championship. They was the only black school that ever went there. And for 40 years, nobody ever, ever did it again. Ever. So we're not talking about something that just happened and they got in. We're talking about the first and the only. And that's 40 years later. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get some people that's about it so we could do this again. So we could be the first and the second to make it to the NCAA championship. And this time, go to number one instead of stopping at number two. Can you imagine if they kept doing that and they had talented people like you that kept the torch going and kept it going? We have a stadium already built because that's what everybody else did. They used that momentum to create a whole atmosphere now of sports and entertainment that everybody now is going to. You know how much it costs to go to a Rutgers game? $50 a ticket. You know how much it costs to park at a Rutgers game? $20. I can't even go to a game without paying $70 to go to see a game. It's a college degree, just like you. Because somebody went and changed their program. So if you got some skills, that she do. <laughs> people in these offices could be boasting the same thing. This is a big deal to change. Yes, this it is. is a big deal. History cannot be erased. And, and look, I didn't know you was coming here today. I didn't know she was coming here today. But it's people all around celebrating this thing still 40 years later. Why? Because this is a big deal. And this is our hope for the future. If we did it before, we can do it again. Amen. It's so nice to meet you. I think you do. I'm hoping you got some skills. <laughs>